scientists have discovered the true ferocity of a huge volcanic eruption off the coast of Tonga in January. Research ships have found that flows of debris stretching at least 80 kilometers across the seabed. Off the coast of Northern California, an uncrewed sailing drone made a shocking discovery, a massive underwater volcano hidden until now. In an age where technology has mapped vast stretches of our planet, this giant, rising nearly 3,200 feet, 975 meter from the ocean floor, managed to remain undetected. Its unique structure, characterized by steep flanks and a pronounced central crater, sets it apart from other underwater formations, sparking immense curiosity among oceanographers and scientists. Beyond its impressive stature, this submerged giant raises pressing questions. What role does it play in our marine ecosystem? And is there a potential impending eruption? Join us as we dive deep into the mysteries of this concealed marvel, unveiled by modern technology. Unearthing a wonder behind the tech marvel. In July 2022, the Sail Drone Surveyor, the largest uncrewed ocean mapping vehicle known to us, embarked on a journey of discovery in the northern Pacific. More than just an uncrewed vehicle, it is a marvel of modern engineering and scientific prowess. Rising to a staggering height of approximately 3,200 feet, 975 meters above the sea floor, it is not only the largest in its category, but also one of the most advanced. Constructed using lightweight carbon composites, the surveyor utilizes wind for propulsion and solar energy to power its multitude of sensors, ensuring an energy-efficient and sustainable method of exploration. This eco-friendly approach marks a step forward in harmonizing technological advances with environmental awareness. The onboard technology is equally commendable. Equipped with multi-beam sonar systems, the surveyor can produce detailed 3D models of the seafloor, capturing intricacies previously hidden from our view. Its high-resolution cameras and sensors can detect variations in temperature, salinity, and current flows, making it invaluable not just for mapping, but also for studying underwater ecosystems and phenomena. Additionally, the Sail Drone Surveyor, with its capability for prolonged deployments, can remain at sea for months, transmitting real-time data back to researchers. This reduces the need for large crews and costly ship operations, making marine exploration more efficient and less intrusive. Equipped with state-of-the-art mapping technology, it aimed to capture the uncharted layers of the seafloor hoping to bring light to our ocean's darkest corners. The journey was carefully mapped, initially focusing on Alaska's Aleutian Islands. But it was the California coast that held the unexpected, a large underwater volcano. How is it that in an age where we can communicate in real time across continents, an enormous underwater volcano remained undetected until February? The very fact that such an imposing formation escaped our most advanced tech, only to be accidentally revealed, challenges our perceived dominance over nature and the mysteries it still keeps from us. Sweeping silently through the waters, the sail drone surveyor painted a vivid picture of the underwater landscape. The advanced multi-beam sonar imaging it was equipped with captured detailed maps, providing researchers with never-before-seen perspectives of these aquatic terrains. But for all its advancements, can technology ever truly cover the vastness and unpredictability of our natural world? A towering underwater formation, nearly 3,200 feet above the seabed, appeared in its charts, resulting in astonishment and wonder among oceanographers globally. Dr. Aurora Elmore, program manager for NOAA's Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute, once remarked on the significance of such explorations. She stated, the steepness of the seamount prevents mud from sticking to its surface, creating a favorable environment for certain species to flourish. Such insights only emphasize the value of these technological endeavors, but they also serve as humbling reminders. For every answer we find, countless questions arise, showcasing the vastness of our ignorance. Indeed, the sail drone surveyor's journey reflects our innate human desire to explore and understand. Yet, it also underlines a profound truth. No matter our achievements, nature, in all its grandeur, continues to hold cards close to its chest, surprising and challenging our claims of superiority. Mysteries of the sea, the seamount like no other. Fresh from the revelations of the sail drone surveyor, the underwater giant's description intrigued many. Looking like nature's version of a bunt cake, 
The seamount didn't just fascinate due to its sheer size, but also its peculiar shape. Rising an astonishing 3,200 feet from the ocean floor, this newly discovered monument was unlike anything oceanographers had encountered before. Now, the bigger issue that left experts scratching their heads was its mysterious origin. How did such a massive formation emerge from the depths? The initial and most common hypothesis centered around volcanic activity. Given the region's history and volcanic activity, many theorized that this seamount was a result of an ancient underwater eruption. Such suppositions aren't without any grounds. The mid-ocean ridges, hotbeds of volcanic fervor, frequently give birth to mountainous formations deep underwater. These ridges, acting as joints of the Earth's tectonic plates, are known to let out molten magma. Contemporary data pointed to a time, thousands of years ago, when molten magma, bursting with intensity, surged upwards, piercing through the dense oceanic crust. On its ascent, the magma would have encountered the cold seawater, cooling it almost instantaneously. This rapid solidification process could have then laid the foundation for this awe-inspiring undersea grand structure. But not all were convinced. Another intriguing theory came to light, suggesting that this seamount wasn't birthed from volcanic eruptions, but from the silent, persistent accumulation of marine remnants. According to this perspective, over countless millennia, the ceaseless cycles of life and death in the vast ocean played a pivotal role. The remains of countless marine organisms, from the smallest plankton to the skeletal fragments of larger creatures, would die after their life cycle ended. Their calcified shells, along with other organic residue, would become part of this underwater deposition. Carried by the powerful yet unseen hands of ocean currents, these materials could amass in specific zones, layer upon layer, year after year. Picture it like nature's own layer cake, formed not in a baker's oven, but in the vast, cold, and pressurized expanses of the deep sea. This slow, continuous piling over long periods of time could result in monumental structures like the discovered seamount. Isn't it intriguing how one discovery can ignite such diverse theories? And while evidence might tilt scales in favor of one over another, science, as history has shown us, is an ever-evolving field. Today's firmly held beliefs can become tomorrow's debunked myths. In the vast sea of knowledge, are we sometimes just floating on the surface, taking a stab in the dark based on what we currently understand? Theories, after all, are grounded on the best available evidence at the time. But as more information emerges, narratives shift, allowing room for skepticism and further inquiry. But one thing remains clear. The seamount, with its bunt cake appearance and towering height, serves as a constant reminder of the ocean's never-ending mysteries. As we venture deeper and uncover more of its secrets, we also realize how much remains unknown, forever challenging our perception and understanding of the world beneath the waves. Diving deeper into the volcano's ancient secrets and its origins. Despite the various compelling speculations about the seamount's formation, scientists aren't content with mere hypotheses. Diving into the depths of investigation, the multi-beam sonar imaging became a primary tool in their quest. This advanced technology enabled researchers to create detailed, high-resolution maps of the seafloor, shedding light on the seamount's intricate structure. With beams of sound waves creating a detailed underwater picture, the topography of this natural wonder began to unveil its secrets. However, sonar imaging was just the beginning. The scientific community buzzed with the idea of using seismic surveys, Seismic surveys are not unfamiliar in the domain of oceanography, but their potential application to the enigma of this seamount gathered unprecedented excitement. Unlike the surface-level imagery provided by sonar, seismic waves dive deep into the unseen corridors of the Earth's crust. They're like the ultrasounds of the marine world, peering into the layers far beyond what the eye or even sonar can recognize. When a seismic wave is introduced into the water, it travels until it meets an obstruction, like the layers of the ocean floor. Depending on the composition, density, and other characteristics of these layers, the wave behaves differently. Some of it reflects back, while some refract or get absorbed. By picking up these returning waves using hydrophones, sensitive underwater microphones, the researchers can construct an image, not just of the seamount's exterior, but its foundational layers, its bedrock, and the geological stories concealed within them. 
This technique offers promise in discriminating between the competing theories of the seamount's formation. For instance, traces of older volcanic lava flows or chambers could back up the volcanic theory. On the other hand, consistent layers of organic material might tip the scales in favor of the marine debris buildup theory. As scientists eagerly anticipated the results, the seamount continued to stand tall, its mysteries protected by layers of water, time, and sediment, waiting to reveal its tales to the persistent human endeavor. But here is the catch. While technology like sonar and seismic surveys are advanced, they're not all-knowing. Are we merely scratching the surface with our high-tech tools, leaving vast chambers of secrets untouched? Our existing techniques, impressive as they might be, come with constraints. They can often present a fragmented or partial picture, leaving many dots unconnected. This isn't a failing of the scientific community, but rather an acknowledgement of the inherent limitations of our present tools. It reinforces the idea that with every layer we peel back, countless more layers remain waiting for discovery. What if the seamount holds mysteries that our current instruments can't even detect? Scientists, in their continuous pursuit, continue to refine their tools, improve their methods, and dig deeper. But they're also aware that this quest might be an eternal one. Nature, with its limitless wonders, ensures that humans, despite their technological advancements, remain eternal students, always eager, but often just out of grasp of the full story. The Seamount, standing tall and enigmatic, remains a depiction of both our quest for knowledge and the constant reminder of how much there's still left to uncover. It's a symbol of nature's deep-rooted mysteries and our enduring spirit to decode them. How this discovery could reshape marine life forever. The underwater volcano isn't just an impressive formation, it's a vital part of marine life. Inside, it's filled with life. From shrimp to corals, the seamount is an underwater hub. But like many ecosystems, it's sensitive. How does climate change affect this balance? Marine life has its rhythms. Each coral, every kind of fish, and all the silently drifting algae contribute to a larger, intertwined net of life beneath the waves. These beings, though seemingly independent, are chained in a mutualistic relationship, leaning on each other for sustenance, protection, and life. But disruptions in these patterns, even small ones, can shake this balance. For instance, higher temperatures can harm corals. With oceans taking in about 30% of the CO2 humans release, the water's changing nature might be a big concern. This brings us to the issue of underwater volcanoes and their CO2 emissions. It leads us to an important question. Are underwater volcanoes adding to the issue, especially with CO2 emissions? We know volcanoes release CO2, but how much of it ends up affecting our oceans? We know they release CO2, but quantifying its effect on the oceans remains a challenge. Estimates suggest that underwater volcanoes emit million metric tons of CO2 each year. Oceans absorb a lot of this CO2, which affects their acidity levels. A more acidic ocean can harm sensitive organisms like corals, and harmed corals can disrupt the habitats of countless marine species they support, derailing the very rhythm we spoke of earlier. Thus, understanding the relationship between volcanic activity and ocean health is critical. It's not just about preserving marine ecosystems, but also about understanding broader environmental changes. This new seamount discovery has scientists thinking. It might give clues about the relationship between the environment and marine life. It's a reminder for us to ask, are we fully aware of how our actions touch places even as remote as this? Deciphering truth, faith in science, and AMP, governance. In the wake of such profound marine discoveries, a pressing question that often emerges is, how much trust do we place in the scientific and government institutions tasked with making sense of these revelations? After all, these bodies play a pivotal role in both research and the dissemination of findings. But like any intricate network, trust is delicate, and once broken, can be hard to mend. Historically, public trust in science has seen its ebbs and flows, a 2019 survey revealed that while 84% of Americans expressed a fair amount of confidence in scientists to act in the public interest, this trust was not uniform across all sectors of society. Variances often depended on political orientation, educational background, and even regional differences. 
These disparities underline the essential nature of transparent, unbiased, and consistent communication from both scientific and government bodies. Furthermore, consider the incident in 2015, when a major government institution faced backlash for allegedly manipulating data to fit a narrative. Such episodes, although isolated, have the power to sow seeds of doubt. When information is perceived as tainted or bent, it leads to skepticism. What happens when citizens start to question the very entities they should rely upon for unbiased truths? On the brighter side, there have been numerous instances where scientific bodies, hand in hand with government institutions, have been at the forefront of positive change. The successful eradication of diseases like smallpox or the remarkable international efforts to restore the ozone layer serve as prime examples to what can be achieved when trust is fostered and maintained. These successes were made possible because of the collaboration between diligent scientists and supportive governmental bodies, all operating on the foundation of public trust. However, trust isn't solely built on past victories. It requires continuous nurturing. With the growing influence of social media and the rampant spread of misinformation, scientific and government bodies face a new challenge, ensuring that accurate information reaches the masses. Clear channels of communication, proactive efforts to combat misinformation, and transparency in processes are more vital than ever. In context with the newly discovered underwater volcano, trust plays an even more critical role. Decisions on research funding, protection measures, and public announcements will be under scrutiny. How will the findings be presented? Who gets a say in these narratives? How do we ensure that commercial interests don't overshadow genuine scientific exploration and understanding? These are questions that both institutions and the public have been facing since the discovery of the volcano. A mutually trusting relationship between them ensures that these decisions are made, keeping the greater good in mind. Thus, trust in scientific and governmental bodies isn't just black or white. It's a spectrum, influenced by multiple factors and past events. Yet, it's critically important that this trust is continually fostered. As we stand on the brink of new discoveries and challenges, it's this very trust that will guide collective actions and decisions, shaping the future of our planet. Why this giant matters. Seamount's grand role in Earth's history. While the discovery of the seamount off the Northern California coast stirs intrigue, it also poses the question, why should the world care about these underwater mountains? Seamounts, often unnoticed in the vastness of the ocean, are in fact pillars of marine ecosystems. Their importance cannot be understated. Seamounts act as an oasis in the open ocean. With their unique topography, they divert ocean currents, bringing nutrient-rich waters to the surface. This, in turn, fosters an abundance of plankton, which forms the base of the marine food chain. By offering a bounty of food and shelter, these underwater giants become a hotspot for a variety of marine life, from the smallest microorganisms to the largest predatory fish. Some statistics even suggest that areas surrounding seamounts can have up to 50% higher biomass compared to the open ocean. Yet, the relationship between seamounts, marine life, and volcanic activity is very complex. The very volcanic processes that form these underwater mountains also play a role in maintaining the marine ecosystem balance. When underwater volcanoes erupt, they release minerals and gases beneficial for marine organisms. But there's a flip side. What happens if volcanic activities intensify, potentially accelerated by changing climate conditions, this interplay further ties into the larger threats of climate change. As ocean temperatures rise and acidity levels shift due to increasing CO2 emissions, marine habitats, especially those around seamounts, may be particularly vulnerable. Coral communities, which often thrive on seamounts, are already showing signs of bleaching, a distress call indicating unfavorable conditions. It's reasonable to speculate that any changes in the health of seamount ecosystems might just be an early indicator of potential danger or failure. Could these delicate underwater environments be warning us of broader shifts in our global climate? Understanding seamounts is not just an exercise in academic curiosity. It's about piecing together the bigger ecological puzzle. If the health of these marine habitats deteriorates, it could set off a domino effect impacting marine food chains, commercial fisheries, and eventually human populations. 
Moreover, these underwater mountains act as hotspots for biodiversity, housing unique species not found elsewhere. Their complex topography provides varied niches and microenvironments, attracting a myriad of marine life. Their protection and study can shed light on the resilience of marine life in changing conditions. As climate change threatens marine ecosystems, seamounts might offer refuges for species seeking cooler, deeper waters. Thus, losing the health of a seamount can mean losing species that are yet to be discovered. Keeping a watchful eye on these underwater giants is more than just about exploration. It's about survival, balance, and understanding the intricacies of nature. Our journey to understand the largest underwater volcano, from the detailed scans of sonar beams to the thorough analyses of its form and purpose, pushes us toward one undeniable truth, the strong connection and interdependence that exists between every element of our Earth. The discovery of this complex ecological phenomena highlights an urgent plea to safeguard our natural world amidst the unseen but ever-present threat of climate change. In the end, it all comes down to one question. How will our actions today shape the submerged worlds of tomorrow? Thank you for being with us. Make sure to watch the next video on your screen. It's amazing!